Hello friends, the topic of today's discussion is spectrophotometric terms and Beer-Lambert law. In this video, we are going to learn transmittance, absorbance, Beer-Lambert law and molar extinction coefficient. Let's take one by one. Transmittance. Suppose we have a vessel, it is filled with a solution. A beam of light is allowed to pass through the solution. When a beam of light passes through the solution, some of the photons might get absorbed by the solution, while some pass right through. Because of absorption of photons by the solution, the intensity of transmitted light becomes less than the intensity of incident light. Let's label the intensity of incident light as I0 and the intensity of transmitted light as I. Now, let's define the transmittance. It is the ratio of intensity of transmitted light to the intensity of incident light. Mathematically, it can be shown as T is equal to I upon I0. Label it as equation number 1. From this equation, we can see that the transmittance is a dimensionless quantity. Generally, it is expressed in terms of percentage, which is equal to 100 into transmittance, that is 100 into I upon I0. Label it as equation number 2. Now, let's talk about absorbance. Absorbance is defined as the logarithm of ratio of intensity of incident light to the intensity of transmitted light. If we denote absorbance by A, then we can write the mathematical expression as A is equal to log I0 upon I. Label it as equation number 3. Relation between absorbance and transmittance. We have just learned from equation number 1 that T is equal to I upon I0. So, comparing equation number 1 and 3, we can find the relation between absorbance and the transmittance as A is equal to log 1 upon T. Equation number 4. Thus, from equation number 4, we can calculate A if T is given and vice versa. Beer-Lambert law. Beer-Lambert law is basically a relationship between the attenuation of light through a substance and the property of that substance. It is the combination of two laws, Beer's law and Lambert's law. Beer's law is the relation between absorbance and the concentration of the solution. According to this law, A is directly proportional to the molar concentration C of the solution. Let's label it as relation number 5. Lambert law shows the relation between the absorbance and the path length, which is the length that light has to travel through the solution. This is L. According to the Lambert law, A is directly proportional to L. Label it as relation number 6. Combining relation 5 and 6 will give Beer-Lambert law. This combination will be A is proportional to C into L. Relation number 7. After putting proportionality constant epsilon, we will get A is equal to epsilon into C into L. This is equation number 8. The equation number 8 is called Beer-Lambert law, where A is absorbance, C concentration in mole per liter, L path length in centimeter and epsilon is molar absorption coefficient, also called molar extinction coefficient, molar attenuation coefficient or molar absorptivity which is a constant for a particular compound at a given wavelength. Now, 
let's define molar absorption coefficient from equation number 8 we know that a is equal to epsilon into c into l if c is equal to 1 mole per liter and l is equal to 1 centimeter then a is equal to epsilon thus we can say that molar absorption coefficient of a substance is equal to the absorbance at unity concentration and unity part length unit of molar absorption coefficient the rearranged form of equation number 8 can be written like as epsilon is equal to a upon c into l we know that a is a dimensionless quantity so put one for that upon unit of concentration that is mole liter inverse into unit of l which is centimeter so the unit of molar extinction coefficient will be mole inverse liter centimeter inverse that's all in this video please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this video thank you very much